Hello, welcome to Little Literati. I'm Jess and I'm really excited that today is the first day of February. January was not a good month for me. I had a lot of really hard, rough things happen in my life last month and I'm really excited for a new start this coming month and that also includes new fun books to read. So one of the ones that I'm really excited about reading is The Bitter Kingdom, which is the third book in a Girl of Fire and Thorns series. I've really enjoyed the first two in the series last month and I'm excited to see how it all wraps up and I'm excited to find out what happens with Hector and I've just, I've really enjoyed the characters in the series so far and I'm excited to carry on their journey with them in this book. This is a book that I have been waiting for for months and it just got released last month. This is Wind Witch, which is the sequel to Truth Witch. And then she also announced that the third book is coming out next January and that one's gonna be called Blood Witch. So I'm really excited for that. And so probably here at the beginning of the month, I'll crack this one open and reacquaint myself with the characters and fall in love with them all over again and follow their paths along with them because I've really enjoyed the story so far and I'm really hoping I enjoyed this one as well. This next book is Flashfall and I mentioned this in my video last month but I didn't get a chance to get around to reading it. So I want to read it this month. I did read Nemesis but this was my uh, January, or no, I'm sorry, my December fairy loot book and I still haven't had a chance to read it. So if this is not a fantasy, this is a science fiction but I really want to read it anyway and find out what the story is like and then hopefully share it with my husband because he is a science fiction guy. So I'm looking forward to Flashfall. This next one I'm really excited for. This was my January Owlcrate book. I decided to give them a try this month. And the book this month was Roseblood, which is a, um, it, it has to do with the Phantom of the Opera. I'm not sure if it's a retelling, a modern day retelling, or if it's a sequel or what's going on. But I mean, look at this cover, it's gorgeous. And then the book itself is red. And then here's what's awesome. I'm really excited for this. All of the words inside the book are read as well. All of them. So I'm really excited for that. And then the chapter headings all have these red vines. So I'm really excited to read, read Rose Blood this month, especially because I've been kind of on a Phantom of the Opera kick. My friend actually came over to my house yesterday and we were watching it because she had never seen it. So we were watching Phantom and I grew up with the music. I love the music and really, I want to reread the book that I read in high school the novel, the original novel, and I loved that book. I My favorite scene, and again, this is really dark and twisty, but my favorite scene in the original novel is with the torture chamber, with the glass mirrors, and the lasso, and if you know what I'm talking about, it's an intense scene, but oh, I love that scene. It's all mm, tingly. Anyway, so I'm really looking forward to reading Roseblood, and then I'm probably gonna reread The Phantom sometime in the coming months. So this is Caravel, and I just barely opened this tonight. And this is my January fairy loot book. So this is about a, a performance that goes on for a week. And it's, if you are a fan of The Night Circus, this is supposed to be a really good book to kind of whet that appetite. And there are these two sisters that get invited to this week long kind of almost circus performance. And one of the sisters gets kidnapped. So the other one has to follow clues and have to remember it's only a game, but is it, really only a game or is her sister's life really at stake so I'm really excited to read Caravel as well and this has been really highly anticipated so I'm excited to get a, a jump on this now that it's newly released and this is the UK hardcover edition not the American one I probably won't finish this book this month but I'll probably peek inside uh, this is how to think like Sherlock this also came in my fairy loot box tonight and this one is just little tips and tricks on how to kind of let your brain figure out clues and I feel like I really need this lately. I feel like I used to be able to have intelligent conversations with people about literature and politics and whatever. And I've had kids and so I pretty much spend my life talking about bodily fluids and school. But anyway, at this I think this would be good to kind of retrain my brain to be able to think objectively and, and critically and actually be able to put pieces of things together and feel like I'm smart again. I need that. This is as old as time. And again, I mentioned this in my last video as well as the next couple. This one is a twisty, a twisted tale version of Beauty and the Beast. I actually did get to start this one, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. And so far I'm really enjoying it, but I need to, I'll probably read this one first before I read any of the others because this was actually due like two days ago. 
So I need to hurry and finish it and then turn it in because I can't renew it. Somebody's waiting for it. But it, so far I'm really enjoying it. I just want to be able to finish it and then I'll let you know next month my final thoughts on it. But I really did enjoy this so far. This next one is Once Upon a Dream. This is by the same author. It's the same idea. It's a twisted tale version of Sleeping Beauty. Um, Sleeping Beauty was never my favorite fairy tale. So, and I've heard reviews that some people like some of her books more than others. I don't know if I'll like this. Some people didn't finish this one or A Whole New World, which is the Aladdin version book that she made. I don't know. We'll just see. So I'll try it. I'll give it an honest effort. But I, I, I'm hoping I'll like this one. And I am hoping also that I like this one as well. But I have a feeling I'll like that one more. This next one is Sabriel. I was hoping to get a chance to read it last month and just squeeze it in. But I had some other things come up. So this one is not a very long book. I think it's only 311 pages. So I could probably read it in an evening. I just need to actually sit down and do it. So I will put these in order of which ones I'm going to read and what order to kind of maximize my time. But this will probably be towards the beginning because it is pretty short. I like reading short books at the beginning of the month because then I feel like I've accomplished things <laughs> before the end. I'm not cramming it all at the end. This is Bitter Greens. I know I've had this in several videos now. I still haven't had a chance to read it, but I did read several books that I needed to read last month. So I don't feel as bad about not finishing this one, but I do want to finish it this month because I want to be done with it. So I'll probably read this in like a week or so after I've read some of the stuff I'm really excited about just to kind of get my energy up so that I can finish this and then I can be done and then focus on other things as well. This last book is the March book club pick in my book club. It's The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. I don't like Dostoevsky. I read Crime and Punishment in high school and it was a punishment and a crime that I had to read that book. I hated it so much. And it's not that it's Russian literature because I actually really love Anna Karenina. I hated the fact that he's trying to justify murder and trying to make it seem like it's okay. And in what situations is it okay to commit murder? Just random cold-blooded murder. Is it ever okay? You know, what if you're a Superman? Is that okay? It was really hard for me to read. And this one also has to do with brothers, at least one of whom is going to kill their father and then go through a crisis of faith and try to justify their actions. And I just don't know if I can handle that right now, especially because last week I had a really traumatic personal tragedy in my life. I lost a baby that we were really excited to welcome to our family this summer. And it was really a painful ordeal emotionally, physically, everything just was a really hard month for me. Um, and so I'm giving myself permission to not finish this because it is 800 pages of talking about trying to justify murder. And it's supposed to be this great classic. Some people say it's one of the, their favorite books ever written and more power to them. But, and I'm going to give this an honest effort. I have checked it out. I'm going to really read as much of this as I can, but if it becomes too much for me, I'm giving myself permission to stop and say, you know what, I've, I've tried and I just can't handle this right now. And I've told the book club members as well that that's what's going on and it's not that I have anything against the book, even though I really do, like it's just only Dostoevsky. But even if it wasn't Dostoevsky, I'm giving myself permission to not have to finish hard books right now. So, sorry to bring the tone of that down, but that's what's been going on here and that's partly why I didn't read as many books last month. I kind of went up and down in the month of January I had like a week and a half long slump where I didn't want to touch anything and I didn't want to have to extend the energy to read anything. And then I had like a four day sprint where I jammed in like five books all, you know, really, really short amount of time. So I'm hoping this month I can kind of pace myself a little bit better and actually space them out, read for pleasure and not just because I am meeting a goal or but that, that's for February. And so I am hoping that I can get around reading all these. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And again, I'm probably not gonna finish this one, but so maybe 10 books for the month of February. And I might not finish some and I might not get around reading others, but I will definitely prioritize the ones that have been in prior videos and the ones I'm really excited about. So thank you for staying with me through this. Sorry for the emotional slump there at the end. But uh, thanks for staying with me and tell me what you are planning on reading this month. If you have any great recommendations or things you're really excited about, let me know because I get excited about good books. So let me know in the comments and 
And for the month of February, read good books.